What's good? It's Wug. Uh, I wanted to just say rest in peace to Tom Bell. Tom Bell just passed away at 79 years old. And if you don't know, Tom Bell is one of the architects and creators of what was known as the Philadelphia Sound, or better yet, Philadelphia Soul of the 1970s, particularly uh, the early to mid 1970s, although he would go on to produce hits afterwards. But Tom Bell is one of those legendary producers who actually floats under the radar. I feel like in comparison to some other extraordinary producers, his name isn't mentioned as frequently in some of those, you know, greatest producers of all times discussions as some of his contemporaries. Now, Tom Bell is in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Um, he's in the Musicians Hall of Fame, and he's mostly known for producing some of the big hits, songwriting and producing some of the big hits for first the Delphonics and then the Stylistics and then the Spinners. So he started making his first, you know, singles towards the end of the 1960s. He had one for Hattie Winston. And that song was called Pass Me By. That was like in 1965. And then in 68, he had a hit for the Delphonics. So this is just at the end of the 1960s. That song was La La Means I Love You. That's the la 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 la. So that was the Delphonics' first big hit. And again, it came courtesy of Tom Bell's production. And then after that, he just went on a run where in 1970, he had the Delphonics, Didn't I Blow Your Mind This Time? And then in 71, he had the Delphonics, Hey Love, Hey Love. Uh, Notorious B.I.G. sampled that on Player Hater from the Life After Death album. So yeah, Hey Love by the Delphonics. And then in, uh, also in 71, he did the Stylistics, Stop, Look, Listen to your heart and then he also in the same year did the stylistics you are everything and everything is you another great hit so that just tops off his singles uh, up to 71 and then in 72 he did the stylistics people make the world go round you might remember west side connections sample of that for gangsters make the world go round but yeah stylistics people make the world go round that was 72 also in 72 he did the stylistics uh betcha by golly wow and the stylistics i'm stone in love with you but also in 72 he started working with another group the Spinners, this is actually like my dad's favorite uh, group or was his favorite group when he was in like junior high and then high school in the early 70s. So 72, he did the Spinners, I'll Be Around. You might remember Rappin' Forte's I'll Be Around, which sampled the Spinners, I'll Be Around. That's one of the Spinners biggest classics. So he did that in 72. He also did the Spinners, could it be I'm falling in love? Could it be I'm falling in love? So that was also 72 courtesy of Tom Bell Production. Now, at this point, the Grammys hadn't even introduced the Producer of the Year category. So it would be two years later that the first recipient of the Grammys Producer of the Year Award would go to Tom Bell. This was in 1974. So this wasn't even considering any of the songs that I had already mentioned. We're now considering his 1973 hits like Breakups to Makeups by The Stylistics or I'm Doing Fine Now by New York City or One of a Kind Love Affair by The Spinners. And then going into 1974, The Stylistics, You Make Me Feel Brand New. That's an excellent song. And he did The Spinners with Dionne Warwick's Then Came You. By the way, my little sister, she had made the top 10 in American Idols season five. And then so she got to go on the tour and record like a CD with some of the different people that they were collaborating with. And on one of those CDs that was released by Dionne Warwick, uh, my sister, Lisa Tucker, she did a duet with Dionne Warwick covering Then Came You. So you could probably, you could find that on Spotify right now, actually. But yeah, that song, Then Came You, 
Originally, Dionne Warwick and the Spinners, that was also produced by Tom Bell in 1974. So it was that cluster of songs. You know, Then Came You, Breakups to Makeups, You Make Me Feel Brand New. It was those songs that were considered when Tom Bell won the first Grammy for the category Producer of the Year. So he is the first recipient of the award. You know, Babyface is one of few. Pharrell Williams is one of few. Uh, Jack Antonoff recently won one. So Tom Bell is a legendary producer who you just don't hear as much as some of the other great names of, of the past, like Quincy Jones, for instance. But yeah, just look at the list of hits that I ran through. That's pretty much the what's what in early to mid-70s soul. Specifically, this was the Philadelphia soul sound. So his contemporaries would have been, you know, like uh, the Temptations after, you know, David Ruffin left the band and then they got into like the Ball of Confusion era or Popper Was a Rolling Stone even. Or Earth, Wind and Fire, another one of the contemporaries. So yeah, that early to mid and even into the late 70s, Tom Bell totally held it down. And in like the later 70s, in 76, he did the Rubber Band Man for the Spinners. He did They Just Can't Stop It, The Games People Play by the Spinners. And then even later than that, in 1981, he did the song by Denise Williams, Silly. That's that silly of me to think that I, da 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 da. Like, oh love, love, stop making a fool out of me. That's a beautiful, beautiful song by Denise Williams. Probably her biggest song or I've got to be free that that's another good one but yeah he did silly or silly of me by Denise Williams and that was 1981 so it wasn't just a early to mid 70s thing even though that's when I uh, that's what I consider to be like the prime of Tom Bell's career he also did Denise Williams's uh it's gonna take a miracle so yeah Hats off to Tom Bell, um, uh, just a production luminary in the game. L listen, I, I just did a Spotify playlist. You can probably find it right now. It's called Tom Bell Classics, The Philadelphia Sound. Go ahead and check that uh, playlist out on Spotify. Tom Bell, you know, I've done a lot of um, Grammy previews in the past. You could check out some of my commentary on Tom Bell's production in my past Producer of the Year Grammy previews. I did one last year. I did one the year before. I'm about to do another one for this upcoming Grammys, but you could catch some of my Tom Bell commentary there. But yeah, rest in peace to the legendary Tom Bell. Um, I think that his name is going to be thrust back into the discussions for, you know, some of the greatest producers producers of all time, of recorded music history. Um, he also produced some stuff with like uh, Elton John, Johnny Mathis. I would say him and then uh, Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff, also known as Gamble and Huff, would probably be the most um, quintessential, the Philadelphia Soul producers from that 70s era. But yeah, uh, let me know what you uh, are aware of when it comes to Tom Bell and his production. Again, he just passed away. We just lost a mega figure in the game. And I hope that they do a, 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 a ser you know, fitting tributes, whether you're talking in the upcoming Grammy Awards or any other music awards shows. I just hope that his legacy is spotlit in an appropriate way. But yeah, rest in peace to Tom Bell, born in Kingston, Jamaica. And yeah, give a lot of his music a listen. Uh, again, uh, the hits by the Delphonics, the Stylistics, and the Spinners. N not to mention some others, as I said, uh, Denise Williams and so forth. But yeah, please let me know what you're aware of when it comes to Tom Bell in the comments. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you love music like I do. Rest in peace to Tom Bell. Thank you for tuning in.